Well, Henrico Congressman Eric Cantor is continuing his efforts to push for massive spending cuts in Washington and efforts to create jobs across the country. Congressman Cantor joins us now. Welcome back to uh, First of Four, Congressman. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Ron. Now, we're not going to dominate the interview with this. I, I promised you that. But Washington, of course, is buzzing with the controversy surrounding New York Congressman Anthony, Anthony Weiner, who uh, admitted yesterday that he sent out a lewd tweet and had a couple of inappropriate uh, Internet relationships with some women. What do you think should happen as the result of this revelation by Congressman Weiner? Well, for, first of all, I think you got to say, look, we have a lot of really important issues that we're trying to solve in this country and up in Congress uh, and you know this really isn't one of them and I would say as far as what Anthony Weiner will or won't do you know it truly is up to him and his constituents as far as that is going to be now I don't condone his activity and I think he should resign and that's as far as you'll take you leave it in his hands there is going to be a House Ethics Committee but from your perspective you think he should do the right thing in your mind and step I mean, down. I just think he should spare us. I mean, you know, listen, we've, we've all now seen for days uh, this, this go on, and there's too many other things, really, that I think the people of this country are expecting uh, Congress to do, and uh, we've got a lot of work, and I just hope we can focus on what's important. Okay, and one of the things you think is very important is job creation. We've got another disappointing job. Uh, unemployment continues to hover around 9%. It seems like the American people are starting to get frustrated at the lack of job creation. What can you do in Washington to turn things around? Well, clearly the economy is not growing fast enough and too many people are out of work. Uh, and that's why we in Congress and in the majority have said, look, we have got to focus on uh, how we get Washington out of the business of making it more difficult for small business to grow. We know that small businesses are uh, the disproportionate job creators, and, and that's why we are driving so hard in the discussions going on in Washington around the budget and the deficit to say, look, you know, Washington's got a spending problem. It doesn't have a revenue problem. We've got to make sure that we're creating an environment for entrepreneurs to jump back in the game. There shouldn't be any talk of raising taxes. There should be talk of trying to ease up on the regulatory policy and, frankly, institute a sensible regulatory policy so that small businesses feel that Washington's not trying to hurt them uh, so that these small business people can get on about creating jobs. It seems that the two big tenants that you mentioned here keeping the tax rate steady or even cutting it and reducing regulations. If you were able to put those plans into place, how quickly could jobs be created? Because that seems to be the real problem folks are having, is that it is taking so long. But what I think that the private sector needs, and remember, we in America have become who we are because of a burgeoning private sector, small business engine. Uh, what it needs right now is some stability, some certainty. Uh, and that's what we could do if we could solve the fiscal issues once and for all in Washington, put us on a proper trajectory, manage down the debt. Uh, and then we could do things like bring up these trade bills. Even the Obama administration has said, if you bring up the South Korean, uh, the Panama and Colombian trade bills, you could create over 250,000 jobs just in 18 months' time. That's from the Obama administration numbers. So I think there are some things that we could get going just by demonstrating that we're committed to getting a private sector that will grow again. Okay. You have a very lengthy plan. We'll post that on decisionvirginia.com if people would like to dive into it. I mean, we appreciate you being here. Brian, thank you. All right.